Hugh is going to one of the country's most notorious slave sites, Osu Castle on the edge of Accra. The Danish built a stone fort here in the 17th century, naming it Christiansborg after their king. The Danes were small players in the burgeoning slave trade, yet between 1694 and 1803, they shipped 100,000 enslaved Africans across the Atlantic. Professor Rachel Engman, who is of Ghanaian and English descent, is conducting the first ever archaeological survey here. The coast was like a shopping street. The people are constantly coming in through the castle every day, and trades are happening right here. These are cowrie shells. So these are cowrie shells. And these would have been used as currency? Yes. Mm -hmm. But would it have been used to buy slaves? Yes. For one enslaved person, you would maybe pay for that person using carry shells, right. using gold dust, using beads, yeah. um, an assortment of objects. Rachel's research into the castle's history has unearthed shocking details of the conditions captive Africans were kept in here. So the enslaved would have been in this room. They would have been standing. They would have urinated and defecated as, as they were standing because there was just no space. So how many people? You could have as many as up to 200 in this space. So... And you just ran out into the courtyard, all the mm -hmm. crap. And you'll find that in all the forts and castles along the coast, the floor is often raised higher than it was originally because it's the, the impacted skin, debris, filth, excrement that has raised the level of the floor. 